What a beautiful day for a ride. Sure is, Bertha. You know, last week when we went truck shopping, I sure like those people in their trucks at Paradise. Oh, heck, what was that, Bubba? Oh, Bertha, don't get your panties in a bunch. It's probably something minor. Nope, not minor. Bubba, did you pay my cell phone bill? No, I guess we're walking to Paradise. The subject of the sewer debt has been a topic of discussion during this entire campaign season. Candidates for mayor and city council all have positions, but during the most recent Coffee with the Mayor, Mark Nexon explained one element of that debate. That's WIFA and the latest developments in that situation. The last few times we met, uh, we talked about our efforts with the Water Infrastructure Finance Authority, which is WIFA and that we've been trying to get them to restructure our debt, whether or not it was to um, uh, take some of our uh, debt and, and go, go up to, say, 25 years, take some of our debt and call them what's known as go bonds instead of the kind of bonds we have. Long and the short of it is this is what um, I think we're going to get from them and uh, in our view, it's, it's not enough, so we're going to explore other alternatives. But as you know, we have a 58 million, 5% um, interest only bond that was um, uh, acquired, if you will, back in, I don't know, 04, maybe 05? Okay, 05, all right. Um, and uh, before. Uh, I think on, when Bob Whalen was the, was the mayor. And that loan, while it is a 30-year loan, the problem is it's 5% and it's interest only and it was killing us. I mean, we haven't paid down a nickel and we can't pay down a nickel on it. It has a call feature preventing us from paying it off. Um, so what we got WIFA to agree to was to take on that loan at uh, what we think we're going to get about a, anywhere from 2.9 to 3.1 interest rate. And it would include a um, principal payment, which is what we would prefer. And it would be converted to what's known as a GO bond, a general obligation bond. And why is that important? Because on all of our other bonds, we have to meet certain debt covenant ratios. We have to be able to have revenue equivalent to 1.2 times the debt service, whereas a go bond is just 1.0. And that is huge. Um, because when you do the calculations and, and using the rate stabilization re reserve, what this conversion should do is hold rates where they're at until 2018 or 19. We are asking um, our uh, people that we use for rate modeling to um, show us how this will impact. And we have a couple other things that we want them to do. But right now, it looks like 18, 19. Um, so if that's the case, let's say it's 2018, that means we will not have raised rates for eight consecutive years. So, because we haven't raised rates since 2010. Whereas before that, we were raising rates every year. I think every year but one. And um, so, I mean, that's good news, but not good enough news. So we're exploring other alternatives and uh, you'll be hearing more on that over the next three or four weeks. We'll have more from the mayor's most recent coffee in later reports here on HVN. Jim Matthews, Havasu Video News.